This is male one from the brick wall, Vixen litter. He appears to be solid black, very little white at this point. He may or may not get some light fawn brindling striping as time goes on, but for now, he looks solid black. This boy has nice proportions. He has a good moderate back length. His length of back to height is nice and square, proportionate. The size of his head to his height and his back length is proportionate. It's a nice, good size head. Uh, he could use slightly more top skull, but the other proportions, the width to the height and the width of the muzzle, he has a very nice, wide, broad muzzle. Uh, he has a lightly furrowed brow with a moderately distinct stop. Good length of muzzle to width of muzzle. Uh, good length of muzzle to overall length of head. He has good width of chest. He's moderately wide. He's built a little bit more on the athletic side of things in regards to chest width, which means he should have good fluid movement and should have nice reach in the front. Shouldn't have a rolling gait or anything like that. More like an English Bulldog. He should be uh, lighter on his feet than what you'll see for much of the breed, since the breed is tending to go more to the bully side, wider, thicker bone type of things. He has a nice moderate bone, which is just right for the breed standard. His rear has good moderate angulation. He's not straight in the rear, but he's not over angulated in the rear. He has a nice good rear to stifle the hawk. His orientation of his feet is good. He shows slightly turned in at the hawks, but for this age, this is very normal for my line of dogs. Uh, I suspect this guy would be straight to the front by the time he's a mature adult in the rear. His orientation of feet is exactly what I look for in a pup this age. Uh, sprung rib, he has decent spring of rib. It's moderate. Uh, once again, this, this puppy is moderate everywhere. He doesn't have any heavy wrinkling, he doesn't have an extremely long or short muzzle. Uh, the only thing that's not moderate is with the muzzle. He has a very wide muzzle, uh, which would be nice if anybody's looking to do bite work. He'll have more surface area uh, inside the mouth for those teeth. So uh, bite work should be improved with a wider muzzle. He's got nice tight feet at this age. They're nice and round cat-like. His coat is short, tight, and glossy like his parents. I expect to see a really nice musculature in him. As he matures, he should be a nice ripped up evolution bulldog. This is male two of the brick wall to Vixen litter. And this boy is very athletically built. He's slightly longer in the back than his little mate brother. He has slightly proportionately longer muzzle than his little mate brother. He has less of a distinct stop. He still has the real nice, broad, wide muzzle that we like. Uh, his chest is a good proportion to his overall height. He's he has a moderate chest. It's not extreme in any way. It's not too narrow. It's not too wide. It's just right. It's what we look for. Uh, and his height to length of back is fairly well proportioned. He's a little bit longer in the back, which will allow for slightly more fluid movement. Uh, he may be straight line, a quicker dog than his little mate brother. He has slightly less sprung rib cage, which will allow him to have less bulk as an adult. His head circumference to his height is slightly smaller than what his brother's is. It's still a good circumference. It's still in the moderate range. The rear angulation is very nice on this boy. He has a nice turn of stifle. It's very good orientation of the rear feet. So all four of his feet are oriented straight to the front which is really nice to see.
His voice paws are very, very tight and round, cat feet. He should be a very, very functional adult dog, uh, meaning very athletic and capable. If you're looking for a working dog, this would be my pick of the litter for working. Uh, his depth chest is a little shy of the depth to the elbow. It's a little bit short in, in reverse of depth of chest, which will allow for less bulk as an adult, which once again, less bulk means faster movement. Uh, so once again, everything about this puppy just screams athleticism. This, this puppy as an adult should grow into a great athlete, uh, especially considering who his parents are who are very athletic with great movement. He does have uh, that nice super short coat that I like in all my pups. Uh, his coat is, however, very, very dense. It's extremely short, but also extremely dense, which means it doesn't lay quite as flat as some of the other coats. Uh, it's not going to be quite as glossy as some of the other coats, uh, but it is extremely soft and supple to the touch. He's a really, really nice feeling puppy in that regard. Uh, he's going to have a little bit firmer skin than his littermate brother, and I suspect that that is probably in part due to uh, the density of the hair follicles. Overall, very nice pup. He does evaluate at a slightly lower price to his littermate brother. Uh, due to his more athletic build.